The Ray Gun Mark II is one of my favorite wonder weapons in zombies. It doesn't have any splash damage and its headshot damage is insanely good. So today I decided to pack a punch the Ray Gun Mark II on every zombies map from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 4. I will time each map individually and at the end of the video we'll see which map is the fastest. Alright, so here we are loaded up on Black Ops 2's Buried. I decided to start off with Buried because, you know, the Mark II came out when Buried came out. So I thought it would be fitting for us to actually start with the first map that brought us the Reagan Mark II. We're going to see how fast I can pack a punch the Reagan Mark II. This is all about luck. You guys know how good my luck is. It is absolutely terrible. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes build this we got to get the free points here so the first thing we got to do is lock the box down right there so let's go ahead and free our boy leroy and lock it down i always hate when the box moves on buried that spot's literally perfect also we are rustman this might be our lucky game rustman does bring me the luck most of the time by the way we're also not going to be using the bank bank would just make this challenge so cheese i gotta get my points normally <laughs> And that'll go for all of the maps where the bank is available. We'll go ahead and break this spot here. Dude, last time I missed this one so bad. That one has to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> last time, Leroy went a little bit too much to the left and he hit that wall right there. You know what? All right, I'm just going to go for a box hit. Screw it. You never know. We might get really lucky. Okay, well, time bomb. I'll, I'll pick that up. Oh my god, I almost got killed right there. It is nice to get equipment out of the box, because it at least takes something out of the box. Wait, Leroy, no! Leroy, no, 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 no! Okay, get the candy. Just, I messed up a little bit. I know I had the booze right there. Whatever, I messed up. I messed up! This is not a good start at all. This is not a good start. I don't know how long the candy lasts. Oh my god. Everything's falling apart. Okay, we'll hit it again. Maybe I'll get something, like an actual weapon to use. Okay. I truly don't know how long the candy thing lasts. It's got to be like a minute or so. Oh my goodness. I guess I can do that. Wait, wait, actually, hold on. Hold on, Leroy. Come over here. Come on. Come on. I didn't even know he could cancel that. I guess it makes sense because if you shoot him, he will get upset. Let's try to get some points here from Jug. Dude, this is a wild start. All right. Lock the box, brother. Let's go. Okay, now we can just go ham on the box. Leroy, I apologize if I shoot you. No way. No way, 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 no way. Dude, we're good. We're good. We're good. All we got to do is just pack a punch. Damn, no way already. Holy crap. I usually do get pretty lucky with the Reagan Mark II on Buried. For some reason, I always get on Buried, but on other maps, not so much. It's that Rustman luck, dude. It, that's all it is. Rustman luck is actually real. I just want to get a little bit of points before we actually go in. Even though I don't really need that many points. Alright, let's just go now. We don't want her to steal any of my points. I'm going to just kill the witches, though. I don't want to risk it in the maze. Uh, it has happened before where the witches gang up on me <laughs> and will just demolish me. Not only because I don't have quicker ride, but also because I don't want to lose any points. <laughs> okay, perfect. Wow, we actually got quicker ride? No way. <laughs> what, is th what is this luck right now? This is insane. That was the worst boost ever. All right. No way, under 10 minutes? That is crazy. There we go. 8 minutes and 49 seconds for Buried. There she is. And there's a kill. Wee let's move on to the next map. What the hell? Where am I? <laughs> Alright, well, that didn't really go to plan. Now on to Transit. This one is going to be a little bit more difficult as we got to build Pack-a-Punch. And we do also have to have the Turbine at pretty decent health so that it doesn't break on us. Oh, also, let me know down below in the comments which map you guys think will take the longest for me to actually get the Regan Mark II Pack-a-Punch. It probably will be one of, like, the later games, especially, like, you know, Alpha Omega. This is that one. we got to get four different Ray Guns. Or I guess technically five 
since we're counting the normal Mark II, plus the other four versions of it. That's probably going to be the one that takes longest. But hey, these challenges, some maps have surprised me. Like, there's been some maps where I think it's going to be a piece of cake, and it ends up taking much, much longer than I expect. Please give me something that I can at least use. <laughs> we got equipment last time, too. What is this luck? The M1216. Looks like we're getting... Oh! Be perma perk. Please, please, please. Well, that was fast, actually. I don't want that. No, no, no. Not the ray gun. Well, we'll take the brother. We'll take the brother, but we don't want that one. Not this time, man. Try to save this zombie. I knew it. The box moved. No, I didn't want to get rid of my monkey bombs. <laughs> I always do that. I always accidentally swap my monkey bombs out. <laughs> ah, twice already. Wow, okay. I really wonder how many times we're going to get the ray gun, the normal one. It's already twice on one map. That's not a good sign. We have the teddy bear, man. Please give me the Mark II. <laughs> nice. We got our monkey bums back. Come on. We got to do the shoot strats and then the crouch strats. No. Wait. Avogadro spawned in? What? There's no way. He actually did. <laughs> what? I think this might be the fastest I've ever had Avogadro spawn in. The last time I wanted him to spawn in for the special zombies video that I made. Dude, it took like 30 minutes for him to spawn in. How did he spawn in so fast? Oh, I have EMPs. What am I doing? Get wrecked. Ah, son of a brother. Not you again. <laughs> Another ray gun. What the hell? Looks like we might have been a little bit too lucky with the ray gun mark 2 unburied because now Black Ops 2 hates me. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Okay, let's see if I can do this before the 30 minute mark. I have hope. It's going to take a minute to get to power though. This turbine, I barely used it. I really only used it to get jug. So I placed it down for a couple of seconds. Let's go, man. I was honestly losing a little bit of hope on the Ray Gun Mark II. Ah, oh, bro, this is gonna suck with Ted. I gotta get him out of here, dude. He blocks this spot right here, making it take a little bit longer for me to go around to pack a punch. Come on, Ted, leave. Leave. I still gotta get a little bit of points. Oh, he kicked me out. All right, yeah, I don't even wanna get on your bus, bro. I don't even wanna be on it. <laughs> We do still have to buy the bank door, so we need, I think, an extra thousand. So we're going to need 6k in total. I might have to end up killing the zombie. I don't really care, though. They're definitely not going to be spawning in fast enough. Did the Avogadro respawn in again? No way. All right, there we go. Let's go! Mark two pack a punched on transit. Done. There she goes, there she goes. I mean, 30 minutes for the Reagan Mark II isn't really too bad, I guess. I was a little unlucky. I definitely could have got way, way luckier, but uh, I'll take 30 minutes. That's that's honestly that's honestly the time that I thought it was going to take. I did not think it was going to be less than 30 minutes, so let's move on to the next map. Goodbye, Avogadro. Screw you. All right, so here we are on town. I decided to include town as well, as this is the only survival map on Black Ops 2 that has the pack punch machine. And since the Mr. Rux locations are pretty close, I thought, why not? Maybe we'll get lucky here on town, at least luckier than transit. Will we be able to get the Reagan Mark II in under the 30 minutes that it took on transit? Let's find out. We did get a little bit unlucky with getting the box inside of the bar, though. I usually like to get it in the alley since I don't have to open any doors. But we are the CDC. Maybe the CDC will give us some luck. All right, we got just enough. Come on. <laughs> okay. 5-7's first hit isn't that bad. At least it's a usable weapon. I guess I'm just really unlucky on Green Run in general. I... Just cannot get anything good out of the box. Even like a normal weapon, like a Galil or something. I'll take that for sure, just to at least get some points. But I haven't even gotten a fully automatic weapon <laughs> out of the box. Hey, monkeys, let's go.
<laughs> Alright, there's our first ray gun. I'll also tell you what, we're running out of ammo. Might actually have to throw a monkey here to save me. Unless we get another weapon that's good. Okay, executioner, we'll take that. <laughs> the second ray gun on town. Okay, I'm actually gonna throw a monkey because I do want I do want that double points. I'm so glad the monkey worked. That was I yeeted the monkey. What did we get? The RPG. Disgusting. Disgusting. We're getting close to the 20 minute mark. The double LMGs. Yeah, see? <laughs> Yes! Okay, uh, let's get rid of the DSR. Because we're going to need some points. And the 5.7s, I might be able to get some points with that. Let's go! Nice! This was actually a little bit faster than Transit. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this before the 20 minute mark. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe I will. If I get blessed with like a double points or something right now. Might be able to. Wait, this actually might be very possible right now. I don't even care if I go down. All right, let's throw monkey bomb. There it is, it's inside. 19 minutes and 35. We actually made it before the 20 minute mark. Mark two pack a punch on town. Let's freaking go. Time for nuke town. What the hell, you seen the box floating? I, I, I never noticed that. Um, <laughs> but here we are, we got the mystery box at the back of yellow house. Let's see when pack a punch drops. It better be one of the first Things to drop out of the sky if it's the last thing that's just gonna suck dude it looks like buried is gonna be more than likely the map that took the shortest amount of time for me to get the regular mark two uh all the other ones have been way way longer and i can't really see another map being that fast unless i get lucky on like black ops 3 or something because the rest of the black ops 2 maps we gotta go through quite a process to get pack a punch like on Die Rise, that one might be the fastest one, but Mob of the Dead, we gotta build the plane and Origins. We have to uh, get all the generators on. Time to hit the box. Oh my god, we we don't even have enough for it. Well, please be something useful. I need ammo. Okay, the M8, that's fine. And we got our first drop coming from the sky. What will it be? Hopefully it's pack punch and hopefully it's on this side. <laughs> Imagine if it actually is. That'd be crazy. Oh my god. Wait. Oh no, it's not coming. Oh, it is coming this way. What is it? That looks like. Oh my god, it is pack a punch. Ah, oh, but we didn't get. Okay. Well, I mean, we're still not getting lucky with the box anyway, but hey, we got pack a punch. All right. We just gotta get lucky. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a minute. I haven't camped in this area in forever. I remember I would camp here a lot with my friend every time we would play split screen on Xbox 360, and we would get destroyed. Oh, the M27. Dude, this weapon's even more rare than the uh, Mark II. I normally don't get this lucky with getting the M27 on Nuketown. Usually I'll get the Raygun Mark II before this. I always like running the M27 and the Raygun Mark II whenever I play Nuketown. Uh, it's just a cool combo. Just having a fully automatic weapon for like insta kills and stuff is pretty helpful. Speaking of insta kills, oh my god, this spots are getting crazy. I don't think I'm gonna get that insta kill. I think I'm just gonna. Ooh, a fire cell too. Move. Okay. 
Come on, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> I'm not getting. No, no, no. I'm not getting stuck with RPG. Maybe one more. Maybe one more. No. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, monkeys. Sweet. That's progress. Ah! Oh, I'm out of ammo. I need a weapon. Okay, I'm, gonna grab, I'm just going to grab the nuke. Okay, sweet. Hammer. We'll take that. We'll take it. And an insta to start next round. Even though I have no ammo, I'm not going to be getting rid of the M27. I do want to keep it. It's fun as hell to use. Uh, I hope I get a max ammo soon, though. Oh, no way. Well, looks like I'm getting rid of the M27. Run, 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 run. No, I don't want the ray gun, and I can't even take it to hit the box again. The ray gun curse continues. Ah, no! I Wow, okay. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get down there. I maybe should have thrown a monkey bomb, actually, now that I think about it. Last tip for now. What are we going to get? Hey, the Galil. Nice. Okay, we got two pretty solid weapons. The M27 and the Galil are very strong weapons. Ooh, another fire sale. Another fire sale. All right. This time we have to hit both of the boxes. I already kind of messed up because I went to this side. I got to wait now. Okay. Go, 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 go. Bring me the luck. Bring me the luck. This has to be it. Nothing. All right. Let's see. Okay. That's terrible. And that is also terrible. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We got to do something here. Here. I'll sacrifice a monkey bomb in return for the Brigham Mark II. Let's see. Let's just yeet that man over there. Let's see what we get. <laughs> we actually got the M27 twice before getting the ray gun. Oh, man. It just is not it, man. It is not it. Let's go see what perks dropped over here at Yellow House. It seems like Yellow House got all of the love with everything. Pack a punch is back there. Speed Cola is back there. And I think another perk is back here. Let's see what it is, though. Oh, it's double tap. Dude, we're so unlucky that even Jug is going to be landing late. No. Wow. Speaking of. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, my God. Thank God. Yes. Let's get the hell back here and let's just farm up points. We're pretty close. We just need 3K. And the pack punch is right here. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. Yes. Yes. This is it. This is it. Just as long as I don't get... No! You've got to be kidding me at the last second. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I was just about to say as long as I don't get overrun. Bruh! We got two downs on Nuketown, bruh. There it is. Oh my god, what? How did I miss? Oh my god, I suck. And there we go. 26 minutes. Finally. And Jug is also... Okay, hold on. Uh, let me actually get the mark too. <laughs> let me not die. And Jug is landing. Did it land on the the top of Yellow House? What? Dude, we got nothing in Greenhouse this game. Everything is on the yellow side. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Damn, no love to the green side. <laughs> what the hell? How rare is that? <laughs> Moving on with the Victus crew. Here we are on die rise now of course with die rise it does have the bank but we're not going to be using it one thing it does have though is the elevators and that's pretty annoying sometimes so we're going to grab the key so they don't have to wait on the pack punch once we get the mark ii but of course the main thing we got to work on is getting the mark ii so let's see when we get it so of course let's see let's go ahead and grab the key here it's right there and let's see where Pack-a-Punch is at. Is it going to be here in power? 
or will it be at the top? Pack a punch, pack a punch. Oh, it is down here. Okay, sweet. I don't think I'm going to be building the Sliquifier. I mean, it will help with just having a free weapon that's really, really good. But I do want to get weapons that are out of the box to maybe up the rates for me to get the Mark II. Oh, yeah, we also have the Jumping Jacks. I can try to get a free perk from them. I'll use my grenades. Usually what I like to do is just train them up a little bit and then throw a grenade. And most of the time that does work. As long as I don't kill myself, we're fine. Oh, we got a drop over here. Oh, and we got a double points. But what is this? Oh, a nuke. Oh no, I didn't mean to grab that. Well, I mean, at least it ended the round. <laughs> I was going to kill some of the zombies and then grab it. Whatever. And there's the box. Alright, let's see where it goes now. Oh, a zombie came from here? Wait, they... That's where they come from? What the hell? I didn't even realize that. I thought there was like a spawn point somewhere here. But they actually spawned there. Damn. <laughs> the more you know. That speed coil is looking real nice with this RPD. <laughs> Time for the jumping jacks. Alright. We should be down to one more jumping jack. Oh my god, I thought I was going to get squished. There we go. What are we going to get? Who's who? Wow. Okay, dude. <laughs> nice. Who's who? Are you kidding me? I would have taken actually any other perk. Mule kick would have been cool too. Just so I can get one extra weapon out of the box. <laughs> but we don't need that. Let's just get straight to pack a punch. No way. Okay, so we got the key. Let's go ahead and key this thing up. We gotta watch out for the zombies. See, the key came in clutch. All right, and there we go. Stop the time, oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's grab that thing. There we go, 13 minutes. I'm very happy with that. Let's go. All right, time for Mob of the Dead. Now we're on to Mob of the Dead, where we do got to build the plane to get to pack a punch. So this might take a little bit of a minute. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first box location, and we're not going to leave until we move the box. Since we are going to be moving around the map to get all the plane parts, we might as well move the box as well in case the box moves somewhere where we're going to be going anyway when we're collecting the parts. Hopefully it's over here by the cafeteria. We got the key here as well. Is it here? Yes. Okay. Come on. Oh, we got the death machine. I wouldn't mind having that. Death machine's always awesome to use. Wow, okay, we got the... <laughs> now we're talking. Oh yeah, I forgot that the M1911 is also on this map. I've actually never had it out of the mystery box, but I always see it. I've played Model of the Dead so many times, but I've never had it. It is extremely rare. Imagine if I get the M1911 before the Reagan Mark II out of the box. <laughs> that would be crazy. While we're down here, let's go and do the laundry step. Oh, a fire sale. Uh, there is a box location over there. You know what? Let's do that first. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We have a couple of hits here. I I don't know what to get rid of. I kind of want both of these weapons, but let's just get rid of the AK. Maybe. You know what? I, I'll probably get rid of the death machine too, unfortunately, because it's super slow when I have it out. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Okay. The MTAR. <laughs> Let's get this laundry machine going. Yes, a double points. Okay, this is going to be awesome. We're going to get so many points. Another fire sale. No. Wait, oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get to the box. How? Do, I, I can't believe I got another fire sale. That's kind of crazy. We have a lot of zombies coming as well. No! Alright, we got stuck with the S12. Let's not forget the shirt. <laughs> I got a little too excited because of the fire, so. There we go. Let's zap a zombie. Wait, did I zap him in front of me or was he already here? Oh, boy! I didn't think that there would be that many zombies down here. Alright, let's zap him. Oh, they're all going that way. They're all coming down here. 
I don't know how. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that. All right, give me the rope. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, I am messing up so bad here. This is a mess. This is a mess. <laughs> All right, we got the S12 reloaded. Well, I mean, hey, at least I got the rope. Okay, we'll get the propane tank here. Oh, we also got to shock the gondola before I forget. While we're here, too, I'm going to buy Jug. <laughs> oh, my God, and Brutus is here. I got to open this door, then. <laughs> Good thing I bought Jug, then. Brutus is no problem at all. Oh, nice. Fire sale. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go this way. There have a lot of zombies coming. Oh, we got two hits. Sweet. Holy crap, that looks terrifying. Let's grab the propane tank and let's head out. We got the engine. Oh, hello. Mark two. Man, I'm getting like, I, it's always funny whenever I do these challenges because I always get weapons that I don't normally get. Like the death machine is super rare for me. I get it a couple of times, but whenever I want it, I don't get it. <laughs> and then whenever I don't want it, I get it a lot. We already got it twice. Oh my goodness. I did not see that zombie there. We're starting the ray gun count. That's one of them already. Oh, nice. Damn. What is this, like four fire cells? Let's go. We're getting luck with the drops, just not with the box. Ooh, the Galil. I'll definitely keep this. Oh, no. I didn't want to hit the box just in case I would have got something out of it. I thought Brutus would hit it. Holy crap. I maybe should have hit it, though. Like, imagine if I would have got the Mark II. I, like, I didn't even want to do that. <laughs> imagine if I would have got the Mark II out of the box and it was there, and then Brutus just goes out and slams it. I I, I don't know if I could take that. <laughs> so I just didn't want to hit it. <laughs> but then again, it was a fire cell. I don't know if that works with the fire cell. Because, you know, whenever you hit the box, Brutus spawns, he hits it and locks it, and you have to buy it again. But we had a fire cell box, so he probably doesn't lock it. I mean, it wouldn't make sense for him to do that anyway. Like, it's only a temporary box. I maybe should have just hit it then. Oh, but there's another one! <laughs> this is crazy. I'm so shocked at the amount of fire cells we've gotten so far. This is crazy, yo. Oh, no! No, 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 I want to get rid of it. Let me get rid of the ray gun. Let me get rid of the ray gun. Let me get rid of it. Oh, wait, I might be able to hit the box once more. No! And there's the blender gut. Okay, that's one wonder weapon. I'll take that for sure. I'll just hold on to it. Let's go destroy Brutus. Bah. Oh, we don't have double tap. Bah. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of the blender gad. I know it's a crime. The thing is, I'd rather have a fully automatic weapon so that I can make points. With the blender gad, I'm not going to make many points at all. I think I'm still going to keep the Galil. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks like on average, it takes me about like 20 minutes to get the Mark II. I'm surprised by that. Like, we only got lucky on one map. The first map, Buried. After that, we've been going through like 20 minutes, 25-ish minutes around there. That's crazy. It shouldn't take too long for us to get the points we need. If we get lucky with this Brutus that spawns in, this is the only Brutus on the bridge that can give us a drop. If we get lucky with like a double points, dude, we're going to be set. I highly doubt it. I mean, the chances of that happening are pretty crazy, so <laughs> I don't expect it. Oh, insta-kill. That's not the worst. This is definitely still good. There we go. And that's time. 
25 minutes. Let's go. There it is. Well, let's move on to Origins, the last Black Ops 2 map. We're on to the final map of Black Ops 2. Here we are on Origins. Now, normally, I don't usually target the Reagan Mark II on Origins, as I like to pack punch the Mauser. That's pretty much a Reagan Mark II. You know, it's it's as good. So I don't normally target the Mark II. I mean, sometimes I do with the box on Origins, and if I do get lucky, I'll keep it. But I don't usually go just for the Reagan Mark II. Hopefully, that means that I'll have good luck this time. Damn, that's perfect. We got a nuke. So the mystery box is over here. We did get the shovel. Oh my god. A nuke off rip? Huh? That's unheard of. Oh yeah, the other thing is we do need to get all the generators on. Though, I mean, that's not going to take too long. I will have to get rid of the Mauser though. Goodbye, Mauser. Oh, the KSG. Look at this zombie just floating. What the hell? <laughs> He's in that family guy pose too with his leg like that. <laughs> what the hell? The box moved already? You gotta be kidding me. Bruh, imagine if it goes to spawn. What are the chances? <gasps> no, 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 no. No way. No way it's actually at spawn. What? Th that's great. I don't have to open up anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, it saves me some points. I probably want to get a decent weapon at least to kill the Panzer. We're kind of going through the rounds a little bit fast. Oh, a fire sale. No, dude, no. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, no, I don't want the ray gun. No. Anything but this. I'm kind of considering keeping the KSG for the Panzer. It might be good. I mean, it's a shotgun. Oh, my. Oh, I want the scorpion, though. I want the scorpion. I'm getting every exclusive weapon but the Mark II. We got the ray gun again. That's ray gun number two. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. All right. So let's uh, let's start going this way. Dude, this is this is crazy. This is crazy, 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 crazy. We just need Gen 6 and Gen 3. Let's go to Gen 6 since I'm right here. Gen 3 is going to be really easy to get to. This is the one that I got to open up a lot of doors. Gotta love the Reagan Mark II. Look at this. I'm actually going to throw a monkey bomb. Just to make it a tad bit more easy. There we go. We got all the generators on. All we need to do now is just open up the door to pack a punch. Ooh, double points. Dude, it sucks I'm so low on ammo. I got none of my scorpion. I have to use my Mark II. Oh, no. They're a Gen 2? Well, I mean, at least I'm going to get a maximum. Well, actually, this is pretty close. This is actually the best one for them to attack. Because it's right next to me, and I need the max ammo. Let's go. Wow, that actually worked out. I'm surprised that actually... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're all in here. There we go. Monkey bomb, monkey bomb, out. Ah. Alright, go, 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 go. There it is. 14 minutes and 35 seconds. Gimme, give gimme, give my ray gun. Nice. So there we are. We're done with Black Ops 2. Time to move on to Black Ops 3. Where, luckily, we get to play some good old classic black ops 1 maps that have the reagan mark 2 added to them i'm pretty excited so let's get to it all right so here we are loaded up on black ops 3 now what's really weird about zombies chronicles is that they added the reagan mark 2 to all the maps on chronicles but they didn't add them to the normal black ops 3 maps they could have pulled a Black Ops 2 and just added it to all of the maps. Just like how Buried added the Reagan Mark 2. They didn't just keep it on Buried. They added it to every single map on the game. They could have done the same thing on Black Ops 3. But for some reason, they chose not to. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I mean, there's probably a good reason for it. But it would have been really cool to see the Mark 2 on all of the normal Black Ops 3 maps. 
Now, I don't know what it is about Black Ops 3, but I feel like I never get the Mark II. I've played a lot of these Chronicle maps recently, and I, I think, like, maybe once or twice I got the Mark II out of, like, 30 games. <laughs> I just highly doubt I'm going to be getting it early on in the game. <laughs> let's start moving now. Uh, let's see where the box is. It's probably going to be... Let's see if it's maybe over here by MP40. No. Oh, no. Don't be in top left. Nice. It is in top left. What is this, man? Already starting off with the worst box location. I mean, I don't care about opening the doors or anything. I don't really need to keep any doors closed. Oh, the Annihilator. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Annihilator is just a whole other thing as well. It would have been cool to see other specialists. Like, the Flamethrower would have been awesome to see. Because the Annihilator sucks so much. It's not even useful. Especially once you get past, like, round 15. it's It just sucks. <laughs> Also, I know the Mark II is added to all of the Chronicle maps, but not all of the Chronicle maps have Pack-A-Punch machines. So, all the World at War maps, unfortunately, we're not going to be counting those. Since there's no Pack-A-Punch machine, we can't really add it to the challenge. <laughs> oh, fire sale! Yes, sir! Oh my god, I didn't see the zombie behind it. <laughs> god bless, we got red screened. Oh, Dingo? I'm actually going to keep that. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the ICR. As much as I love the ICR, I just want to try to cycle as many weapons. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on! No! Actually, can I get another one? Can I get another one? Can I get another one? No. Oh, and... Oh, wow, nice. We got the ICR back. For Black Ops 3, I'm not sure which map would take the longest. I mean, I guess it depends on the RNG, but if I were to get lucky... Bro, we are going to make... Oh, my goodness. Bruh. Another fire cell. I might actually keep a zombie. Bro, what's with this 74U? <laughs> this is like the fourth time I've got it. Oh, and... Oh, no. I thought this was the ICR. We got the HVK. Oh, Thunder Gun. Yes, sir. I'm going to have to get rid of the Dingo now. Unfortunately. One more, one more, one more, one more. Thunder Gun's fine. I'll take that for sure. And we got the HVK. It's always fun hunting for one specific weapon. Like like I said, it's, uh, it's a very rare weapon for me to even use in general. So trying to go for it is actually a lot of fun. 20 minutes in and still nothing. This is going to be... This is going to be a crazy one. I can already tell. We're definitely starting to see a little bit more variety in our weapons. And the Karam. I'm going to keep the M16 for now. Ooh, what do we have here? What the hell, Nova Crawler? You're just hiding a freaking fire cell? That's that's rude. Okay, BRM. One more hit. This might be last hit. I'm going to try to get another one in. Oh, no, I can't. Damn it, we got the Alcar. I mean, hey, what did I say at the beginning, fellas? I usually get the maps Wonder Weapon before I get the Mark II. And we got the Thunder Gun before the Mark II. I knew this was going to happen. Bro, these zombies on Black Ops 3 have no chill. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 1 recently. I'm currently training for a round 160 plus for Black Ops 1 Moon. So I'm like really used to how the Black Ops 1 zombies are. And I haven't really played Black Ops 3 that much. I mean, I usually do some speedruns, but not as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, I'm just not used to these Black Ops 3 zombies, man. They are wild. They all run so fast. Like you'll get triple slapped so fast if you're not careful. But yeah, I'm currently training for insta-kill rounds. I want to get my first insta-kill rounds on Black Ops 1. Just to be able to say that I've had insta-kill rounds, I guess you could say. And we're trying to get it on Moon. Moon is, Moon is actually a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun than I thought it was. I was always really bad at Moon. And I was super uneducated on Moon. Like, I've played it a bit. But I would always play, like, super safe. I wouldn't try any crazy fast strats or anything. And finally, being able to learn some stuff on Moon is really awesome. 
It's funny too because Moon was my first DLC, but I always found Moon so difficult. I, like I honestly don't know why I always thought of Moon as a really difficult map, but it's really not. It's much more simple than you would think. I think the only other box location it hasn't been to is Spawn and Speed Cola Room. I'm gonna guess Speed Cola Room. I think it's been in all the other ones, right? I think so. Yeah, because it hasn't been to Spawn. Oh wait, but it also hasn't been there. We'll see. Ah, nice. It is spawn. <laughs> Bro, imagine if I get to like round 50 and still no Mark II. The unfortunate thing about Kino, or I guess it's not unfortunate, but we're going to be going through the rounds just really fast in general. If I'm in this area just stacking up points, we're going to go through rounds like crazy. I mean, definitely faster than like the Black Ops 2 maps. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Can I get one more hit? One more hit? One more hit? Nice, nice, nice. One more hit. Damn it. Please. Wow, okay, dude. Okay, dude. I got another fire cell. Yes, sir. The only problem is we're like mid round, I want to say. I'm going to try to save that until I get like a little bit closer to the end of the round. Because maybe. Oh, actually, we got a nuke here. Let's pick that up now. There's no way that nuke ends around. Like, no way. What? It actually did? Oh, God. It cannot be that crazy to get the Mark II on Black Ops 3, bro. It cannot be this crazy. This is only Kino, by the way. I have to go through three other maps. We got to do Ascension, Shangri-La, and Moon. Yeah, it looks like this is going to take an hour. There's no way. Like, yeah. <laughs> wow, I did not think it was going to take an hour for me to get the Mark II on any map even like the longer ones like origins or something where i had to open up a bunch of the map this is crazy oh there it is holy sh boy no way dude i'm actually gonna be able to do this before an hour <laughs> there oh wait no i set the time too early oh well well we're just gonna count that there it is i was too excited holy crap bruh thank god we finally got it 55 minutes is absolutely disgusting for the ray gun mark ii absolutely for honestly for a second i thought it wasn't even on the map i, I was i was questioning life itself <laughs> now we're on to ascension let's hope that our luck is not at all similar to kino dude <laughs> Also, these maps look absolutely beautiful. I do love the Black Ops 1 aesthetic and everything, but just like the upgraded graphics for some of these old maps is absolutely amazing. It's, it's so awesome. Ooh, and the Matryoshka dolls. At least we got some equipment. On Kino, we didn't get Jack Squat. I will say I'm a little afraid to use the dolls as there's no PhD on the Black Ops 3 version, so... Probably won't be using them too much. Oh, we got the sickle. Time to earn some glory. It's a work. I'm pretty sure that monkeys don't spawn unless. No, shut out. the hell up. Right, no way. I'm praying for a double points. This is crazy, bro. The difference. How did I get it so fast here? I mean, I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just insane that Kino took almost an hour. I guess I'm just unlucky on Kino, bro. This is the double points we wanted. We have enough to open up the doors and stuff, but not enough for Pack-A-Punch after. Alright, here we are. The second Lunar Lander. Can I blow up the rocket with the Mark II? <laughs> I'm gonna try it. 
All right, there we go. That's the last Lunar Lander. We just need 800 points. Let's go try to blow up the rocket. Right, let's launch this thing. I'm very curious. Can I blow it up? I don't think I can. Oh, they, I can. <laughs> no way. That's amazing. Well, now we have pack a bunch open, and here's the double points. Uh, where's the zombie at? Oh, there was multiple zombies. Oh, what the hell? There was. Wait, what? I thought it only had one zombie. There's three zombies. That is crazy. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. 15 minutes and 20 seconds. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Let's go. Let's move on to Shangri-La. Now we're on to Shangri-La. Bro, look at Shangri-La. This looks absolutely amazing on Black Ops 3. Holy crap. So much more vibrant. Uh, it's, it's so awesome. But yeah, let's see if we have the same luck that we had on Ascension. It could happen, man. It could happen. What's pretty scary about the Black Ops 3 version of Shangri-La is that the zombies are already incredibly fast. And Shangri-La is pretty narrow and, you know, uh, one simple mistake and you're done for. So on Black Ops 3, it's it's like on steroids. <laughs> Which, okay, the monkey's coming from here. Nice. Perfect. That's what I love about Shangri-La. The monkeys are so useful. Oh, and actually, once I move the box, we can get fire sails. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. We're going to need those for sure. Oh, I don't think a monkey's going to be able to transform it. They're not coming from here, are they? They only come from over there. They're just going to keep on dying. Oh, we know they did. Oh, wait, but, yep. <laughs> okay, bear. Monkey does grab it. Fire sail. Can I hit the box here? No, I cannot. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. What is it going to do? It just comes right back, right? Yep. Oh, no, didn't. Nope. Ah, what the hell? I didn't even see the monkey. Box, hurry up. I didn't want to go anywhere else. That was maybe my mistake. Oh, another fire cell. But there's also a shrieker. Bruh, the box actually left and came back again. I thought it was going to stay because I, uh, I didn't take the weapon. Wait, what's happening right now? The box is glitched. Bro, you've got. I wasted this. I can get one hit. I can get one hit. I can get one. I can get one. I can get one. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, we got the baby gun. No way. I didn't even freaking notice. I hit the box, but I was focused on the. What was it? A shrieker or napalm? What the hell spawned? Oh, a shrieker. <laughs> I knew it was something. Alright, I guess I'll start working on getting some points then. I'll probably stay in this area here. This is usually the strat I like to use for Black Ops 1, at least early game for some points. So we're going to try this out and see if it works the same as on Black Ops 1. Probably won't. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Actually, while we're down here, let's just turn the power on. All right, we got the power on. Is the pressure plate here? I don't think so. I think it would have came. I think it would have came up by now. Yeah, it's not there. I'm gonna try to get a free perk from this. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I still got it in me. Haha, <laughs> we got Widow's Wine. Hopefully that was worth it. Can't complain with the free perk. Oh no, the, the monkey fell back. Oh wait. Oh, I thought it wasn't gonna get back up. I guess we'll try to get a free perk here as well. Okay, I was gonna say, is that monkey not gonna, oh my God. Yo, what the hell, zombie? Okay, meal kick, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. We haven't gotten the Annihilator. Is The Annihilator has to be on this, right? It's like it has to be. 
I think it's on all Chronicle maps. It has to be. It's crazy we haven't gotten it yet. <gasps> yes! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, we need to find the pressure plate. Bro, that doesn't... It doesn't even look like that high of a pressure plate, if that makes sense. Like, on Black Ops 1, it's... You can tell whenever you get the pressure plate. But it wasn't even that high. It doesn't matter. Let's go. We did it before 30 minutes. I'm, I'm happy about this. This, this is a good run. I'm so happy about this. This monkey really followed me up here? I mean, he has to. It's his job. <laughs> Lol. All right, so 27 minutes. That's pretty good. I'm very happy with that. It does look like Kino is going to be the longest one of Black Ops 3. I mean, so far, unless Moon decides to be even worse. Now we are on to the final map for Black Ops 3. Bruh. Yeah, I love the graphics. All right, and we're starting off with no jug here. Damn it. It's fine. I'm not going to reset, dude. Um, we'll be back for Jug a little bit later on. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I haven't played Black Ops 3 Moon. This one, it's been forever. Like, a really, really long time. So, I'm kind of excited to see what Black Ops 3 Moon looks like for the most part. Honestly, it's not going to be anything too crazy. It's, it's literally Moon. I'm not sure what the hell I'm expecting, but... Um, yeah, let's let's get to let's get over to the actual moon. Yeah, dude, this looks good, bro. Holy crap, this looks so good. Like I've I've been looking at Black Ops One Moon. Like I said, I've been practicing it, and bro, the difference. This looks so good. Oh well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. All right, so here we go. Power on. Damn, this looks. This looks way different. This entire area is so much more different than original moon. You can see how the box is there. You know what? Let's just go out there. This spot's nice to train in anyway. Oh, I see the wave guns in there. Maybe we'll get blessed and get both the Mark II and the wave guns. Once I move the box to a better area, I'll start hacking the box. Because uh, I know you can hack the locations and stuff. But I kind of want to get the box somewhere else so I can at least take the suit off. Alright, and there's the box. Let's see where it goes. Oh, a fire sale. That really sucks. This is the only like good box location right now. If I go to Biodome, it's just going to waste so much time. Come on, box. Return, return. Let me get a couple of hits. Not the locusts. Oh, gersh, gersh, gersh. Nice. Now I'm ready for whenever the excavator comes down. Like a little. Let's hack it. Let's hack it. Okay, so now we gotta, we gotta go back to spawn to hack. I want to try to get enough to get Jug before I have to teleport back. Because I want to teleport, get Jug, and then teleport back and hack. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to try to save up to buy Jug just so I don't have to worry about getting Jug again. All right, we got Jug. Especially since I have to teleport every time, I just want to get it out of the way. <laughs> Let's hack this thing. I'm also going to hack the box. You never know. We might get lucky here. <laughs> the L4 Siege? What the hell? That is the absolute worst weapon to have. But no, the L4 Siege is literally the worst since there's glass. <laughs> and if I break any of the glass, it's going to freaking screw me over eventually. Bruh. I can actually just go now. I could probably get enough points from the zombies that spawn from uh, No Man's Land. But I'm going to wait just a little bit more. Oh, actually, I can't teleport just yet. I got to wait. Because I have to wait for the gate to open. I think that takes like... What, like three... Two or three minutes? Something like that? I'm pretty sure it's like two to three minutes. 
On Black Ops 1, I know I had to wait a good minute for it to open up. Oh, it seems like it might be doing it soon. There it is. Let's head out. Let's get this done, dude. Yes! Under 20 minutes again. Well, there it is. The Mark II pack punched on Black Ops 3 Moon. I'm so freaking hyped. Yes. Well, that's Black Ops 3 out of the way. Can I teleport? Oh, I can. I've never tried that. Let's try it again. <laughs> Let's see where else we teleport. <laughs> All right, nice. Well, I mean, we'll buy speed cola anyway, just for the funnies, but... Uh, yeah, let's move over to Black Ops 4, where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. Actually, hold on. Let me let me try something real quick. Can I still throw Gersh right here? Wait, so Mark II doesn't break glass? No way. Hold on. Let me try something else here. So, you can throw grenades in this area. Can you still do that right now? Can you steal it up? Black Ops 3 Moon? Oh, you can. Wait, so... I can't believe the ray gun Mark II doesn't break the glass. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense. So. Okay, cool. Well, alrighty. I uh, just wanted to test that out a little bit. Oh my goodness, yo, these zombies are wild. Alrighty, so here we are loaded up on Black Ops 4. It has been so long since I played Black Ops 4. I mean, I know I always say that, but actually it has been man i don't remember the last time i played black ops 4 the, the the main reason why is because whenever i first got black ops 4 on pc i like played the entire game so much and i did all the easter eggs and everything and i mean this was probably like three kind of it was like three four years ago ish somewhere around there that i just beat everything um it was so much fun but i just never really went back to it as High rounds on Black Ops 4 isn't really that fun, and that's what I usually go for. I usually go for high rounds. The Easter eggs are really fun. I love the Easter eggs on Black Ops 4. They are top tier. But, um, yeah, the other thing is, on Black Ops 4, normally I don't hit the mystery box too much. Most of the wonder weapons on maps are, like, buildable, or you can get them from doing side Easter eggs and stuff. So... Um, yeah, I, it's going to be interesting hitting the box. We'll see what our luck is looking like. Maybe I'll get blessed. I might actually have good luck here. But of course, not all of the Black Ops 4 maps have the Reagan Mark II. It's only the Aether storyline. So no chaos, unfortunately, this time. But it's going to be nice coming back to Black Ops 4, bro. I, I really did enjoy the game. I know it got a lot of flack and everything, but Black Ops 4 is really, really fun. Like, it, it's not bad at all. All right, so we got the box over there by power. And also, Pack Punch isn't too difficult to get. All we're going to do is just build the shield and then zap the power box at the top where the plane used to be. Damn, yeah, the, these spawns are so fast in the spawn room. Bro, is it even possible to do, like, spawn room challenges on Black Ops 4? <laughs> like, it seems like it'd be so difficult. And you already know your boy has to bring in the katana. It's a must-have for Black Ops 4, dude. You must have it. Starting off with the box, we got 3k. So we get... VMP! One of the only Black Ops 3 weapons. A the A94! What is, what's this box luck, bro? These are really, really solid weapons to have at the beginning. We are not going to be using elixirs. Just like with Black Ops 3, we're not going to be using any gobblegums or elixirs. And there is the mystery box. Damn it. All right, let's see where it goes. We'll start opening up some of the map. Uh, what is this? Dying Wish. I might buy some perks. I'll probably get stamina up. Uh, and maybe Dying Wish. To the catwalk. Let's start going towards Alcatraz. Let's pull out the sword. Whenever I first played Blood of the Dead, I hated the catwalk. It was so annoying. Getting, like, tagged by the zombies' hands was mad annoying. I mean, I got used to it now. Like, I, I don't really mind it. Oh, my God. No. What the? <laughs> my katana ran out at the worst time. You got to be kidding me. Where, actually, where's the box, bro? It's not cafeteria. 
Uh, I think what's that? Warden's house? No, it's it's Warden's. Ah, flip! I forgot we got to turn power on. All right, let's head down to docks then. While we're down here though, we will grab the spectral shield parts. All right, there's the door parts for the shield. I suck at Black Ops 4 so much now. After so long of not playing it, and I've played like Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 a lot more, and Black Ops 4 is just so different. Like, it is crazy how different it is compared to all the other games. Black Ops 3 is, it's not too bad. The zombies are a lot faster and everything, but Black Ops 4 is a massive difference. Sweets. So now we have the power on and everything. Let me check what perk this is. I do not remember. Time slip. Yes, that's what we need. So I decided to get time slip since it's going to help out with the box. It's going to roll a lot faster. And we're definitely going to want that. Look at, look at the difference time slip makes. Holy crap. It's like immediately. Holy. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, the peacekeeper. Sweet. Oh, the blunder. I'll definitely take that. Gimme, gimme. Ah, the box already moved. Which perk is this? Oh, stamina. I'm gonna grab that. We have a fire sale. Come on, give me something that's better than a crossbow. Don't mess with me in the box. I need to hit the box. I'm in a crawler with the katana. What the hell? We have a crawler. We'll keep him alive. Not sure how long that crawler will like be alive though. I'm pretty probably gonna die. <laughs> yep, warden's house. Hopefully it moves before I have to end the round. This area is so small. Like, I will get trapped if I'm not careful. Oh, the normal ray gun. Ew, I don't want this. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It looks good. I like the design of it on Black Ops 4. The only thing is... Uh, obviously, we cannot take it as we need the Mark II. Oh, we could do the upgrade for the Blundergat. <laughs> I don't have the setup for that though just yet. Actually, should we try it? I don't think it hurts. Yeah, would it hurt? We can get the magma gat. I might just do it. You know what? We're gonna do the blender get process. Screw it. We'll do it. I think I remember the barrels that I need to interact with. Or that I need to run by, I should say, not interact with. You've got to be kidding me. Let's use our sword then. Okay, that is it for the magma get. Okay, we're throwing a monkey bone. God, I suck. I probably should have thrown a monkey bone before. Okay, so we got to do this. Yeah, this is. I wouldn't say this is my best game on Black Ops 4. Alright. We are here. Now get the hell out of here, zombies. There it is. Our magma gap. Oh, and a fire cell. Okay, this is definitely worth it then. Yeah, get out of here, Warden. What the hell, man? We gotta go back to get time slip. I forgot I don't have time slip anymore. Where are you, Brutus? What the hell? We got two Brutus? Oh my god, look at the weapons I have. How many times you gotta do this, Warden? You think it'll go some other way? 
All right. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> this is quite the game. I am so bad at Black Ops Four. Yes, finally! Thank goodness! Holy crap! Okay, right, after like the worst Black Ops 4 game of my absolute life, let's go pack a punch this. Oh, but we need souls. Eh, we'll get the souls fast. I just need to open up to the uh, roof. Now we just need to get souls in the shields and then blast this. Will I pack a punch? I definitely could have played this game a little bit smarter, but I definitely underestimated the zombies on Black Ops 4. Like, definitely. Holy crap, there's so many zombies up here. There we go, we zapped that. And come on, pack a punch. There we go. 43 minutes to pack a punch. The mark two on black ops. Four. I'll definitely take it. I love I actually really like the uh design for the Black Ops 4 Ray Gun Mark II. It looks pretty sick. I don't know what it is about it. It looks it just looks so nice. I really like it a lot. Obviously, the original Mark II is my favorite, but this looks really, really nice. I really like this a lot. All right, so now we're on to Classified. Now, Classified is definitely my least played Black Ops 4 map. I was never really interested in Classified too much. I was more excited for Alpha Omega and Tagged or Toen. I know that sounds weird, but I really love Tagged or Toen and Alpha Omega. Those are some amazing maps. They get a lot of flack, and I, got, I get it. But and for Black Ops 4 maps, those two are definitely the best, in my opinion. So, I just never really got around to playing Classified too much. I did, you know, pretty much understand that it was 5, a different version of 5, but it's pretty much 5. Just a little bit worse, since it doesn't have the petting on Thief. Okay, we'll open up towards this way, then. Let's see where the box is at. I'm sure that there's some new box locations, maybe. This is definitely not the best spot to open up to. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Oh, box right here. Pog champs. Monkeys, A. Eh? We take monkeys. We take them. We take them. Hopefully my mind has adjusted to Black Ops 4 zombies. And I won't have such a hard time like I did on Blood of the Dead. Because that was disgusting. I swear, that was, that was absolutely the worst game of Black Ops 4 in my life. Like, I messed up so much. It's, it's just... It really is that I'm not used to the fast zombies. This is this is like Black Ops 3 zombies on crack. It's like too realistic. That's probably like a good way to say it. I kind of like the goofiness of how some of the Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 zombies act. Black Ops 3, it wasn't as goofy. They were more realistic. But this is just like too realistic. Let's see. I'll open up this room. Oh, what the hell is in here? I was going to check the TV. I'm sorry, Piggy. I'm sorry, I had to put you out of your misery. And this is Stamina Up. So Stamina Up Quick Arrive is over there. Nice, nice. Let's see if I TP there. Oh, wait, does that mean that it's going to be the top? Oh, you can... What? You can choose where you want to TP? Shut the hell up. Okay, I kind of like that change. I like that change. I, I'm so late on this. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how little I've played Classified. That is such a cool change. I like that a lot. And, of course, we do have a perk here. What is it? Is it time slip? It is time slip. Sweet. We'll buy that. Damn, it's a lot darker than I remember. It's, like, really dim in here. I thought with power, it would be a little bit more bright. Oh my god, yes! Okay, let's work on opening pack punch up. I'm probably gonna look up something to actually help me open it up because I have no idea how to do it. So it looks like you actually do have to do the DEF CON thing. We'll do that now then. You do the DEF CON um, thingamajiggy and then you get the lid for the pack a punch machine. The Mark II doesn't boost you anymore, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. Damn. I see, I don't like that change. I like how the ray gun looks, <laughs> but I do not like that change at all. All right, we have to open up another area to get the DEFCON thing. It's the, the, the DEFCON is not in its normal location. Oh, there is a whole new location. What the heck? 
Okay, so here's the last stuff con. So now we go into the OG pap room. Wow, you do. That's sick. And then here is the part we need. So cool. <laughs> I love how I'm like playing this for the first time. <laughs> All right, now we got to go to the morgue. The morgue. Where would the morgue be? Oh, it's right here. Oh, but I need points. Oh, I found it. What the hell? The gas doesn't let you run for like a good minute. God, that's disgusting. And Hellhounds in the middle of the round? What the heck? And then now we got to go to the main offices to get the uh, cover. It's probably... Is it this side? Oh, wait, boy, I'm stupid. I forgot that... I forgot that on Black Ops 4 it tells you where you're at. Main office is here. Okay. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Oh, it's right there. There we go. We got it. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now we're here at the war room. So, actually, hold on. Let me get one zombie. Either way, I gotta get some more points. So we'll we'll, we'll save a zombie. I already killed a good amount of them, to be fair. Oh my god! It wouldn't freaking swipe. It wouldn't swipe. Okay, Defcon 5, here we come. There we go, that's it. And pack a punch. 23, let's go! There we go. Our mark 2, pack a punch. God, Groom Lake looks amazing. It looks amazing, bro. Look at this. Well, there we go. That's the, uh, that's classified done. Let's get over to. One of my favorite maps on Black Ops 4. And now we're on to Alpha Omega, where the real challenge begins. Because there are five different ray guns we have to pack a punch. I say five because we have to pack a punch the normal ray gun. And then we have the four other variants as well. So in total, it is five. I'm not going to count the free ray gun mark two that we get in there because that is already pack a punched. So, you know, it kind of doesn't count. We have to get it out of the box and actually pack a punch it. So let's get to it. Now, actually, I'm not sure if you can have multiple variants in one game. I've never tried that before. I've only ever had one. Uh, so we'll see if that works. If if I can't have more than one variant per game, I can't imagine. I mean, I can't really see as to why that wouldn't be a thing. But, you know, if I maybe can't, then we'll have to figure out something else. Of course, the first thing we got to do, though, is... Get the map open, turn power on, and get Rushmore going. That's like the first thing we got to focus on. And of course, we're already here at the power switch. This does not mean full power, though. All right, let's get the party started. This is one of my favorite parts because of how good the music is. I'll probably just throw some grenades. Oh, but I think we're guaranteed a max demo at the end of this. That's nice, at least. all right there we go got this step done now we have to go clear all the vents to get true power on there we go now we gotta end the round and Rushmore is here. Let's get the codes going. Oh, dog round. Let's go. Okay, there's that's done. Now we gotta get the Galva Knuckles. We gotta get a Galva Knuckle kill inside of the bunker next to the TV with static. I gotta find that first. Okay, it's right here. Sweet. Now we just gotta get a kill with the Galva Knuckles. Luckily, the Galvanicles are only 5k on Alpha Omega, which is great. Look, luckily, the Galvanicles are only 5k on Black Ops 4. It's weird they brought it down.
Alright, Goblin Knuckles acquired. These things look sick. And the zombies go flying when you hit them. Look at this. <laughs> there we go. Now we just gotta go put the codes in. We gotta go to house E first. There we go. Oh, and there's the ray gun. Might as well grab that already. It's actually kind of lucky we got E. As our first house, now that I think about it. Ray Gun Mark II acquired. Oh, yeah, we also get a pack of punched weapon. Uh, I guess we'll see what it is. I wonder, is it the same every time? Nope, it's not. This is different. Okay, this time we got the Mog. Now we gotta start filling up some of these TVs with souls. So let's see which TV we got. I think I seen that it was this TV over here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So I gotta get some souls. I think it's like six or seven zombies I gotta kill. It's really not that much. I wonder how close they have to be. Okay, we got nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, let's grab a frame. We do gotta get the part to actually get the kit going though. Let's start looking for the parts. I did also pick up a teleporter part. Just, uh, just to have it. We're going to let RNG decide which ray gun we go for first. I'm going to double pack punch my MOG. And whatever alternate ammo type it gives me, that's the one we're going to go for. Mainly because, uh, you know, we have none done. So I might as well just let RNG decide for me. I don't really have that many points to, like, respin for a specific one. So let's see. What are we going to get? We got Cryo Freeze. Okay, sweet. Let's see. we got to go to Operations and shoot a Fallen Cabinet. Oh, no. It's right here. Got him. So now we gotta freeze zombies and then knife them, and they're gonna drop like this blue, like goop kind of thing. <laughs> and there's the first zombie. We got the blue goop. All right, here's another one. Just need one more. That's the third one. We will keep it cold for you, Rushmore. Right in here. So I've seen that for this step where you got to collect souls, you actually don't need to use the weapon specifically. You could actually use this. This works perfectly fine. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. We got the purple one. This thing is awesome. It's a fully automatic ray gun Mark II. It cannot get better than this. Oh, now we just got to get enough points to... Pack a punch. I did kind of mess up by buying Dying Wish. It's fine. This is the one that I normally build because after you pack a punch it, it becomes amazing. Literally, I never thought that this weapon would be added to a normal zombies map. This seems like something that would add to a custom zombies map. That's how sick it is. Alrighty. The first ray gun mark two of many. Done. There we go. The dual wields. So cool, yo. <laughs> so damn cool. Alright, so it looks like you just put it in and you can grab another frame so we can get another ray gun. Alright, perfect. It looks like we actually can get all of the variants in one game. See, I knew you could do it. So, that's one ray gun marked out of the way. Let's try to get another one out of the box. It didn't take too long on the previous map, so there is there, there's a chance that I can still do it. It is only round thirteen. We got we got we got to get our hope. We got to keep our hopes up. I guess now we're only gonna need three more ray guns because I'm gonna use the normal ray gun that I get out of the box to pack a punch it, and that'll count as pack a punch of the normal one. Then we'll use that one for an upgrade. We just gotta find a safe place to get points. There is really no safe place. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Nowhere safe. 
I'm like trying to come up with like a makeshift way to train in this area. I don't know any decent training spots on Alpha Mega or honestly on any Black Ops 4 map to be honest. But we're going to try this spot out. We're going to see how it goes. This spot has so many little spots where I can get stuck at. But as long as I'm careful with it, I'll be fine. Wait, our Galvin Uncles are still one hit? Really? Very interesting. It's actually very interesting. I'm assuming they maybe get two hit on round 17, maybe? That'd be a weird round for it to be one hit on. Normally, it's 15. Run away. Rest, I do. Well, let's see if it's still one hit with the Galvin Uncles. Okay, no, it's not. What the hell? That's so weird. On round 17? Weird. Now, if I get, like, too deep into this, I wonder... See, the thing that I was worried about was that the game would think that I have a Raygun Mark II because it's stored. So it won't give me the Mark II. I hope that the game doesn't think that I have one because it's stored. So then it won't give me it in the mystery box. We got the ray gun. Well, I mean, this might. This actually kind of gives me. This kind of. This actually gives me some hope. <laughs> Getting the ray gun, the normal ray gun. I mean, that's. And we got the monkey bombs. Maybe. Maybe we are gonna be able to get another mark too. Wait, my blinders. The box not. In. What? What happened? Unless I'm actually blind, I don't see the box lights. Bro, I think the box is actually broken. Like, I, I actually think it is. I don't know if maybe getting a fire cell would fix the box. Oh, speaking of fire cell, we got one. All right, well, let's see if this maybe fixes the box. Because, yeah, there's no lights. I mean, look, I'm going to take, take a full 360 right here. If y'all see a light, let me know down below in the comments. Because then I will actually be... Uh, going to the doctor to get a prescription for my eyes come on bring me the luck bro bring me the luck bring me the luck let's go let's go i don't even know how to react i don't even know how to react thank god we got it on a fire cell at least this better fix the box location bro please please fix it so we have just enough to pack a punch so this is the normal ray gun pack a punch that's two ray guns done and then we'll pick that up of course and we'll start the fire process wait is the box here Oh, the wait, hold on. Let's let hold on. Let's double check this real quick. So, that's the box is there. Let's go up to the top and let's see if I can see it. It's like that way. It's that way. Is the light so far that I can't see it? Wait, there's no light when it's underground. There is no light when it's underground. What? What were these devs thinking? Bro, there's so many other maps that are underground where you could see the light. On Mob the Dead, whenever you have the box in, like, the Citadel Tunnel, you could definitely see it from, like, above on the roof. How? Wh what is this? You actually can't see it. It's supposed to be, like, somewhere over here. That's crazy. I normally don't hit the box because, you know, it's guaranteed ray gun if you just do the Easter egg stuff. I never moved the box, so I didn't know that there's no light underground. This is so new to me. So, let's get the fire step started. We have eight shots. Good thing I didn't use all the ammo. All right, let's go down into the lounge. We're going to look for a smoking cabinet. This is one of the ones I haven't done yet. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Give me that canister. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, wait. I have forking monkey bombs. Wait, how do I get rid of the monkey bombs? Um. Wait, can I? Can uh, if I throw all of them? Hold on, let me just try to throw all of them real quick. Cause I'm gonna need grenades for this step. Wait, how do I get how do I get grenades back? Uh, what? So I have monkey bombs. And I need frag grenades. And it looks like I cannot get frag grenades back. Um, so, I don't know how I'm going to do this step. The one thing that I might be able to do, 
I don't know if it's possible. I'm going to try to throw a monkey in there. Uh, we'll have to wait until I get a maximum, I guess. But I'm, I'm going to try to throw a monkey bomb in there, bro. I don't know what they were thinking over their Black Ops 4 headquarters when making Black Ops 4, bro. Like, what the hell? What the, What is this? I knew this kind of happens, but it slipped my mind. Because whenever I would play Blood of the Dead, what would happen a lot is I would always get the Hell's Retriever. And it would get rid of my, um, my frag grenades. And you couldn't go back. And I completely forgot about the monkey bombs and that happening. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait for monkey bombs. We're going to try it out. We're going to see if this works. I'm going to go through one more round. Um, I should have at least one monkey bomb. We're going to try. In theory, it should work. Okay, that was a little bit too far. Dude, I got it on top. Oh my god. We're gonna have to do another ray gun mark two. I'll have to start a new game just to do this specific mark two. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna have to do that. There's no way. It's impossible. There's there's I'm getting cock blocked right now by Black Ops 4 right now. There's no way. How am I supposed to do this? I even got the monkey bomb directly on the fireplace, but I didn't I couldn't do it. So I found a Reddit thread that actually says I can use any other weapon. It has to be explosive. I, have to, I can use an explosive weapon to actually do this step. It doesn't have to be grenades. And it, apparently it is possible with monkey bombs. It's just that um, it's a lot harder. But I'm going to try to get like the Helion Salvo or something out of the box to then shoot that. And it has to have um what is it called fire blast or whatever it's called i don't actually remember what it's called i think it's fire blast and we can actually shoot it without needing grenades actually i have a better idea let's use the trench gun okay so i get very close let's go Ah! We do this! We do this! Okay, there we go. We got the, uh... The canister. I gotta get out of here. So, yeah, this is one I've never tried actually in-game. Let's see... How cool it is. Oh, my God. There we go! So, it's the shotgun one. That's cool as hell, yo. <laughs> it's not as cool as the dual wield one. Honestly, just having the Raygun Mark II dual wield is really what sells the other one for me. This one's very good. Having a shotgun Raygun is so cool. I actually cannot believe that I thought it wasn't going to be possible to do that step. Bro, if it wouldn't have been possible, if I actually could not do it... It would have made me think so much differently about Alpha Mega. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Here we go. Now we got a pack a punch. The Z2. Oh, it shoots a lot faster now. Yeah, that's sick, bro. Okay, so store that ray gun. And pick up a new frame. Ooh, and let's go down to the box. We have 10k. I mean, we're starting off with a good amount of points. I can't believe we have two ray guns stored right now. I'm so happy. So we have two more. So we have two more elements to go. We need the electric one, and then we have the brain rot one. And <laughs> the normal ray gun. I would definitely take. I would take that, but nah. Nah. That's what the second ray gun for Alpha Omega, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's the second one. Or antagonize you, box. I'm gonna get a free bonfire cell here so I can pack a punch my ICR7 because it's gonna get rough without pack a punch. There we go. It's definitely best for me to pack a punch the ICR7 since. Uh, actually, hold on, let me pack a punch twice. I probably should have done that. Probably should have done that before. It's fine. Oh, uh, but yeah, I wanted to pack a punch the ICR7 because the. Wall buy is right next to where we're training, so if I do need ammo, I'll just buy it. Yes! 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 
Let me pack a bunch again. We're gonna need dead wire or dead wire or turned. I did have turned, but I got rid of it. But it's fine. We just need one of those two. Brain rot. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we need to pack a bunch of this. This is where we gotta pretty much turn the zombie at, and it'll reveal the canister. Let's see if this one turns though. It might not. Oh, it is. Nice. There we go. There's a canister. And then we'll get this wisp looking thing. We'll shoot it. We gotta follow it. And then for this step, we do also need to build the teleporter. Luckily, we already have all the steps. Perfect. It's right there. We are going to place the telepad right under the wisp and then shoot it. And it's gonna teleport. And then we'll put the other telepad where it teleports and uh, pretty much connect the two teleporters. So we have the telepad under there. Shoot that. It'll teleport. This is where the wisp is at. Place telepad. And then we shoot it and teleport with it. There we go. Now we just got to fill up the soul box again. Or I guess the canister with souls. Um, it should be over here in the storage area. Julio. That is done. Pick that thing up. And now we'll go get the next ray gun. So now we have the Mark II Y version. And this one has freaking... This one's amazing. It freaking makes a huge blast of gas. It's so damn cool. Like, look at that. I, I shot one straight up in the face and it <laughs> didn't die. Here, let's charge it up a little bit, though. Let's, let's max charge. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, so the Y variant, Pack-a-Punched. Ah, what the hell hit me? <laughs> what was that? Bro, this one looks super nice, too. The orange is sick, man. Get out of the way, Nova Crawlers. Single fire now does kill a zombie. Look at this. One shot, one kill. Easy. Now, let's try it fully charged on a horde. Let's go to max charge it, and boom. Six shots. Holy crap. <laughs> we have 20k, almost exactly. Just one more ray gun, dude. One more ray gun. Wait, which one's the frame? Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> we have three ray guns. Yes, I'm almost done. What are the chances that I can get this in 20k? What are the chances that I get the next ray gun mark 2 in 30? What are the chances that I get this next ray gun mark 2 in 20,000 points? I'd say hopefully high. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I do need to get dead wire on my ICR. So let's try to do that. Please give me dead wire. Yes. Like that. This is actually the easiest upgrade in my opinion. Like it is it is extremely simple. And the crazy thing is it's super easy to upgrade, but this is probably the best ray gun. Arguably. I mean, in terms of actual like usefulness and how good it is like the fact that it has infinite ammo just makes it a contender already like it's 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 really really useful sometimes the light poles are a little hard to see i know it's this one there we go then it lights up this generator where we gotta stick the battery in or the canister and then now we just gotta get souls we're almost done we got three ray guns from the mystery box on Black Ops 4. Keep in mind, I said this at the beginning when we first started Blood of the Dead. But when keep in mind, I said this when we first started Black Ops 4 with Blood of the Dead. But I had never seen the Mark II out of the box. Like, never. I would always get it for free here on Alpha Omega because of the Easter egg. But, like, I've never seen it out of the box. So having it three times already is insane. Like, absolutely insane. And it's time to finally finish this challenge. This was an amazing challenge. I had a lot of fun on Alpha Omega. I learned a lot. But let's grab this. We got all of them. Yes. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't jump in them. Um, but yeah. So, as you can tell, this has infinite ammo. It's like it's like the... What is it called? The... Uh, the D machine. It's kind of like the D machine, the electric one, where it has infinite ammo and everything. It's pretty much just like that. It recharges over time. Right now, it's not that useful since it's not pack punched. 
and you know it's around 38 it's pretty high in the rounds for it even the other ray guns were struggling let's throw a monkey bomb we'll pack a punch this thing and here we are now has 150 power in total let's see how good this thing is let's try to run up as fast as we can we're probably gonna find some zombies here yeah look at that it, it automatically destroyed that nova crawler see it kind of damages a lot of zombies at once oh wait i didn't even stop the timer what the hell am i doing i think i probably stopped at like 30 seconds late i'd say 30 seconds like max well we pack punched all of the ray guns on alpha omega well, let's move on to the final map where the mark ii was added it's very sad it's a shame that we didn't get to see it in cold war but let's move over to tag der toten Get the hell away from me. Oh, I don't have uh, I don't have ammo. I was wondering why I wasn't able to shoot. That's sick, yo. That's clean. Look at that. Now we're on to Tagder Toen. This time we do actually have a lot more wonder weapons in the mystery box. We have the Thunder Gun, the Tundra Gun, and the Wonder Wolf Sniper. I don't remember the name of it exactly. And then we also have the Ray Gun and the Ray Gun Mark II. What is that, like five weapons? That is insane. I mean, I'm actually pretty happy though with Alpha Omega. I, I actually cannot believe that I got all four of the ray gun variants. Like, that's so damn cool. I never really tried doing that in the past. And I think under three hours, is it's like a pretty good time, really. All right, well, let's find out where the mystery box is at. Oh, it looks like it is at the bottom. It's right there. Okay, that's good, because I just opened up this door right here. I'll take the thunder gun. Gotta love this little Easter egg. The glasses for 500 points. If I remember correctly, I think Pack Punch works the exact same as it did on Call of the Dead. Like once I turn on power here at this boat, I'm pretty sure that the Pack Punch will start spawning in around the map. I really do wonder though if the Reagan Mark II will make a return at some point. Like maybe with the next track title, maybe they'll do like the Reagan Mark II again. Um, I really hope they do. Like I, I really hope it does get added. <laughs> the regular mark 2 is such a sick wonder weapon and i think it really deserves to come back for the next title wait can i get up here i don't think i can what the uh, that's not fair or can i get up there dude what all right the box moved i'm kind of happy the spots not the best <laughs> it's kind of annoying being here because i want to be on this side of the map Hopefully it goes to spawn. That's where I kind of want to train at. That's where I really like to train at. So hopefully it goes there. It might it might go to the boat though. It's more than likely. Oh, oh, it's up here. This is honestly even better. I can train here now. I do not want to get stuck with the Essex. Please give me something. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? The Essex is like the worst weapon on Black Ops 4. <laughs> Looks like we have the box over there at spawn. Unless it went back to that one spot, but there's no way. What? <laughs> how did it get how did the box come back here it was just here that's insane yes 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 oh and i kept the essex you've got to be kidding me now we just got to get to power on the boat where og power is at on call of the dead and i believe that's when the pack up machine spawns in um, I wonder, should I get enough points first before I, I uh, actually turn the power on? So then I can just immediately go to pack a punch? Because it will move more than likely before I get enough to actually pack a punch. I might actually wait then, now that I think about it. We'll stay here for a little bit. The spawns here, I think, are still pretty fast. We'll stay here for a little bit before we actually turn power on. Okay, let's go turn power on. Bruh! Why did there have to be a freaking explosive zombie there? Just why? It's over there. It's over there by spawn. Go, 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 go. I forgot to give the hermit the rock. I picked it up and everything. What up, hermit? Come on, come down. Hurry. Yes, I'll give you the rock. Let's hurry up. Ah. There's the rock. Oh, 
There she is. Go, 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 go. Pack a punch. 22 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I got bombarded and now I get a max ammo. Hurry up and give me a perp 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 and give me a Hurry up and give me up. Yes! There we go. We are done. Yes, after bro. Oh like holy crap. I swear this was crazy. This is actually a crazy challenge. It's always fun hunting for a specific weapon. You never know what's going to happen. You really never know what's going to happen. You can either freaking play the game for an hour or I can play for 20 minutes and get the weapon I want. You know, it's always really awesome seeing how good my RNG is. But um, yeah, I guess I'll show you guys the times right now for all of the maps. Surprisingly, Buried was actually the map that was the shortest time. I actually got the Mark II incredibly fast on Buried, which is pretty awesome since the Mark II did come out on Buried. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Comment down below which other challenge I should do. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one, boys. Take care, and I'll see y'all later. See ya!